All right, so the next thing I wanted to talk about is boundary conditions. We, um, we've we already introduced boundary conditions a little bit, but, but only one special type. So th the type of problem that we've been solving is called uh, an initial value problem, and or IVP, sometimes they abbreviate IDVP. Uh, so we've been solving an initial value problem. And what is an initial value problem? Well, let's just give us a little reminder. Uh, we were solving the problem dy dx equals uh, f of xy. And what does that mean? Well, that means, and, okay, so here's the other important thing that um, we get lost in the fact that we're solving this differential equation. Well, yes, we're solving this differential equation, but we're also given a y of 0 equals some value um, and I can call it any value, I'm going to call it alpha. So we're given y of 0. What does that mean? Well, if we look at the function that we're integrating across, what we do is we start at the lower endpoint of the, the interval that we care about. So here I'm starting at y of 0 um, is equal to 1. That was, that was the problem that we had looked at previously. Um, so if y of 0 equals 1, that means I start here and then like I said, the slope field is given, those, those are little arrows, uh, and so we're just following the slope field. Uh, all the runge kutta methods, all the other methods, we're either integrating or, or just directly following the slope, moving forward one step. We're just following this slope field and moving forward until we find uh, the whole solution. We just move forward step by step by step, and sometimes we get off a little bit, but uh, we just step forward step by step until we get the entire solution worked out. Well, fine. Uh, what's the problem with this? Well, uh, the problem is th with this is what do we do uh, if instead of being given the value at y of 0, the value, the starting point at the beginning of our interval, uh, let's, what would happen if it were given some other place on our interval? For example, uh, what, w what if we were given uh, instead of y of 0, in, in this case it was um, I, uh, y of 0 equals 1, what if instead of y of 0 equals 1, we were given uh, y of 4, right, y at x equals 4, y of 4 uh, is equal to, and in this case it was, um, it was 3, okay, y of 4 equals 3. What if we had be, been given y of 4 equals 3? So we start here and then we move, oh well, we can't move forward. Um, uh, what do we do? Well, um, that's what we're going to talk about is what we do because we, we and we may not start at the end point. Um, we may be somewhere in the middle. We may be we may have this this value anywhere. Uh, but in general, if the value is not given a, at the initial point, if it's not given as initial value, a, at least for the purposes of this class, we're going to call that a boundary value problem. And uh, for a ba boundary value problem, we may be given different boundary conditions. Um, and, and the name, by the way, the name boundary conditions actually comes, I, I believe, from the heat equation problem where you, you have a second order differential equation, which means that you have to have two boundary conditions. Uh, where you have to have two two conditions at least, whether they're boundary con whether they're um, initial conditions or other conditions, and you very seldom have initial conditions. It comes from the fact that you usually have boundary conditions, and they're usually like, for example, the start the starting temperature of the bar. Uh, if you're heating a bar and you're looking at the heat flow through a bar, you could look at the starting temperature of the bar and the ending temperature of the bar, um, and those would be the two values that you would have, and that's the example that it gives in the book. Well. Um, so there you go, so boundary value problem. Now there are a few different uh, types of boundary conditions that we want to uh, that we want to talk about just to get the names out of the way. So these are types types of boundary conditions. And boundary conditions is often abbreviated uh, BCs. So just something to be aware of. So we have Dirichlet boundary conditions, Dirichlet boundary conditions, and those are conditions where the value of the function uh, is given. Well, so what other boundary conditions we could could we have? We could have the value of the function given, or we could have Neumann boundary conditions where uh, the value 
of the derivative uh, is given. So this is a different, uh, a different type of boundary condition uh, that we may have. So Dirichlet boundary condition, uh, Neumann boundary condition, and uh, and it may be some uh, some mixture of both, right? Maybe we're given maybe we're given one uh, the value of the function at one point and the value of the derivative at another point, and we may be given them anywhere anywhere on the interval that we care about. And so um, these are then uh, the different types of boundary conditions and. All of these, then, uh, generally, we're going to call uh, boundary value problems, BVPs. Um, 